Hello guys, today I'm going to discuss the increasing of resolution of an ADC with oversampling and how much oversampling needs to be done to increase the resolution by one bit and why. So let's look at this 2 bit ADC and over here I want to explain one prerequisite that our signal noise should be bigger then our smallest quantization step that is how much voltage increment or decrement does it take to change the lowest bit and for this 2 bit ADC that I have over here here is the ADC output value here is the voltage it's 0.25 volt so in order for this method to work for this 2-bit ADC we need a signal noise of at least 0.25 volts if it's more than this it's okay but if it's less than this this method will not work and so let's go further with it here we have a noise here we have an error of 0.125 volt and the error power is 0.125 squared that's make it a little small 0 0.015625 now let's take another ADC that's a 3 bit ADC and see what happens here here we have increased 1 bit so our error is reduced by half that's not 0 0.125 now but 0 0.0625 and our error power is 0 0.0625 squared that's 0 0.0039625 that's around four times less than the power noise power that we had because of this quantization when we had a two bit so the quantization noise is reduced by a factor of four just for general information the signal to noise ratio is 6.02 n plus 1.76 dB. This, this 6.02 also represents the loading of noise by a factor of 4. So let's move on to our oversampling. Over here we have a graph of frequency against the power of the signal at this frequency. And the quantization noise is uniformly distributed over the whole range and it remains constant it doesn't matter what frequency of sampling you have the quantization noise is always the same so here we have our signal and here we have a low pass filter so that we can get rid of the noise so what happens when we sample it at a higher frequency let's say we sample it at frequency four times higher than the frequency in the first case so now what happens is as the base has increased by a factor of four here it was two fs here it said eight fs our height or the magnitude of a noise power goes down by four and when we use this filter here which is the same filter as here the frequency is the same let's say that this is f of x here it's also f of x the the closer it is to a signal the better ideally it must be the same as our input signal frequency so what happens is that because the area has been reduced by four times we get an increase of one bit here the height has been decreased by four a1 is equal to a2 you can look at the maths and the, the reduction of quantization by a factor of 4 is what is needed for an increase of 1 bit Be I wanted to make this video because sometimes people are confused that uh, I have taken two samples two 1 bit samples and the value that I'm getting is 2 bit it should be according to their opinion not a 2 bit ADC but that is not the case because the power of the noise is reduced by half and as I have demonstrated 
the power has to be reduced by 4 and not by 2 to get one extra effective number of bit so for if somebody wants to get an increase of bit resolution by 2 bits he has to sample it 16 times and then he has to divide it by 4 so we discard the 2 bits that we have the 2 extra bits that we gain and we keep the rest of the bits and that's an our increase increment in our ADC resolution. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps. Bye.